Okay, they strapped me to the floor, and and uh, for about the next 20 minutes, they were under fire. So there, there was, I mean, the helicopter looked like a ball bearing factory with all the empty cartridges laying around. It turned out they fired over 3,000 rounds off the helicopter. Uh, they burned out a couple of barrels on the machine guns. They had spare barrels on board. And uh, it, it was pretty neat. I know the uh, A1s were just about out of ammo. Um, when we finally cleared the islands, and uh, so I was saved, and they, they too had booze on the helicopter, so they gave me a couple of miniatures to, to calm me down. Then I got to thank everybody, and then now the adrenaline's gone. I'm exhausted. I am totally exhausted. And they say, we're taking you to a destroyer, and we're going to drop you off at a destroyer. It turns out these guys actually came from a cruiser. They'd fly out um, in the morning, land on a cruiser, and wait for somebody to go down. And these guys were trained as anti-submarine uh, helicopter guys. They weren't trained as rescue guys. And when they got to, they were off the uh, USS Kearsarge. It was Helicopter Squadron 6. They were called the Raunchy Redskins then. And again, I met these guys later. And in fact, um, as a little sidelight, I'm, I'm an honorary member of Helicopter Squadron 6. I get invited to the reunions. And the little town I lived in in Kentucky, um, the guy who r ran the, uh, the grocery deal, the, the, uh, the farmer's market, was a member of that squadron when they rescued me. And now, I mean, that's a small world because I live in a 6,000 person town in Kentucky. Uh, anyways, back to what was going on. So they tell me, well, we're going to drop you off on a destroyer. And I go, oh, great. I'm going to be stuck on a destroyer and it'll take me forever to get back to my unit. Well, then they come back, then they come and tell me, they say, no, we're gonna refuel from the destroyer and we're gonna take you to the Enterprise. We have orders to take you to the, to the aircraft carrier. So I said, okay, well, I'm an Air Force guy. What do I know about refueling a helicopter over in the ocean? Well, I soon found out the way this works is they go into a hover and they get near the, heli near the uh, the destroyer, and they pass up a refueling hose, and they, they plugged it into the floor, and then they slide off to the side and get down below the deck. Just the rotor blades are clearing the deck, I guess, to give them more fuel head pressure to refuel. I'm thinking, the blades are going to hit the ship. We're all going to die, and, and what, a, what a crappy way to end the day, just when I thought I was saved. Well, I guess they knew what they were doing because it all worked out okay, and off we go. Well, now the sun's going down. The A1s have gone back to, to the Kearsarge. And we go to land on the, on the, on the Carrier Enterprise. And, and it's pitch dark. So they land. I have no idea what, you know, what I'm going to do. And a guy comes over and he put a little hard hat on you like they do because they're going to lead me around. The lights come up and it's the, the, the island, the superstructure there. And there's a band playing. Playing, got, uh, playing a national anthem. And out of the darkness, this guy comes up to me and he goes, welcome back to the States, Lieutenant. My name's Sharp. Well, it turned out it was Admiral Sharp. He was visiting the boat. And uh, so for the next three days after they cleaned me up, I was Admiral Sharp's so, uh, show and tell because I went to all the boats with him. <laughs> he was... He was a pretty cool guy. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss new upcoming videos. And check out this website to see more of this film.